I mean, it was kind of crazy because I, th- I kind of thought, okay, why are these everywhere? Um, and then we realized that they were just available to purchase um, pretty easily. And so, you know, at the liquor store, at the gas station, all of these things. And so, you know, the legitimate purpose for these nitrous oxide containers is for you know, dispensing whipped cream. It's used for baking. Um, but clearly, if you're selling them at a gas station or at a liquor store, this may not be the intended purpose um, by that purchaser. Um, but because it does have a legitimate use, we couldn't outright ban the sale of them. Um, but what we instead wanted to do was figure out how to limit access to them. Um, so that's what we did in 2018, and now you know what we're working on again in 2022. And so, tell us what's being, uh, what's on the table now. What are you guys considering that, uh, uh, additionally to 2018? Yeah. So um, one of the things that we have learned um, through a lot of work, you know, through ongoing meetings with the Whip It Wipeout Coalition, is that um, there are these things called chargers um, uh, that are the things that actually um, the only purpose for them is to inhale. Um, the nitrous oxide. So there's no legitimate purpose for these. It really is just to inhale. Um, And so we realized, well, if we can't ban the sale of nitrous oxide containers themselves, what if we banned the sale of the chargers, which the only purpose is to inhale for someone to get high. Um, And so uh, we were very intentional about the way that we crafted the final version that passed the Senate. And now Um, you know, is uh, awaiting action in the House. Um, And basically what we said is we want to ban the sale of these things. Uh, We don't necessarily want to criminalize someone using, but we do want to limit the access and make it harder for someone to buy them. Um, So if we could prohibit the sale of these chargers, uh, we hope that we can make another dent in this in this problem. And so so it's not the the little tiny canister we see all over the place. It's the mechanism they use in order to actually get high with yeah wow yeah so there's their chargers and then i forgot there's the chargers and also crackers Um, Crackers, yeah hopefully when you're in your later interview you'll they'll have some samples we have some in our office but uh but they are um there is no real purpose for them that's legitimate and so um since the goal is to try to Again, we don't want to criminalize the people using uh, that might have a problem, but we do want to make it harder for them to access this, um, and hopefully that'll help address the problem.